Oh, it's always handy if you can do your bindings up while standing up because then you don't get a wet bum and it helps you with your balance. Right, this Jake is going to demonstrate. He's going to make a nice little bed for his board, little channel for him to uh, rest into. That is, uh, no sitting down. Uh, oh yeah. Are you know the penguin walk? Are you yeah. tried it in reverse? It's really hard. <laughs> All right, let's see what this little piece has got for us. Do you want to go straight down or do cat tracks? Straight down or cat tracks? Cat track, find some little. Yeah. Yes, that's what we call not landing it. It's good. Getting a bit softer. Oh yeah. Right. This DB looking up. Still can't see the boys. There they are. That's it, lads. And this is what real snowboarding is like. You go a little bit. You wait a little bit. You're looking for spots. You're riding with your homies, amping each other up. Oh yeah. It's not super fast, but at least it's a bit softer in here, eh? Yeah, exactly. It's a bit bouncy, but... Right. Whee! And this is why we call this the abandoned lift line. That is the abandoned line. And all the way back up the mountain. Right, so a little bit of history as this is uh, quite a long snowboarding video. Let me introduce myself. 
my name is Max, I'm 45 years old and I live in Slovakia so I'm out here as a proper true stinky season air snow bum. I haven't had a job for two years, I'm just somehow managing to survive doing like mad odd jobs. Um, recently, this time last year, bought myself a, uh, a barn house out in Slovakia. It's a hundred year old barn with a little uh, 95 year old house that's poking out of it that I've got to renovate. Um, I've spent all my money already. I've got some of the materials. It's not enough to finish it. Um, and in between doing work on the barn, I'm here shredding uh, the mountain, taking it easy. I've got to take it easy because I broke my back doing downhill. So uh, I shouldn't actually be doing sport, they said. Um, but no, 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 you're not going to take away my nah. All right, I'm going to go down, wait for the boys down here. It's a nice, easy zone on a powder day. So, woo, bouncy and crusty. But it's good fun. Woo, what's here? Wee. Whoa, little ski rollers. Oh, yeah. Right, let's come all the way to the right. Let's have a look. So this has been super tracked out, super tracked out. Boys will probably come through this forest in a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm going to choose instead of going down through this crust. Let's go and find this little gully over here. Have a little, wee, little scoot across. Uh, there's a little gap I can get through. Pew, pew. And then, as I turn in there, turn back in here, down into the gully. Boo! Very tracked out, very slow. But that's just what it is. It's not smooth, it's not great. Okay, the boys are not out. <laughs> Look, I'm really taking my time um, waiting for them. Obviously, as you wait, you get to get yourself a little rest and a little break. Um, there comes Jake, I know, because I know how his arms work. Yeah man, it's a bit choppy! If you didn't know, the mountain's called Chopok. C-H-O-P, okay, Chopok. And our little snow fraternity, our little uh, our little gang of children that love to be immature on a snowboard. We're called Children of Hopok. And uh, it's C-O-C -C for short. So we are a bunch of cocks on the hill, literally. Oh, I love it, man. Look at the views. This is better than working. This is just the best. Not quite the best best. That'd be low density pow pow. Let's you rip. But this this is chop. This is uh two days after 30 centimetres of fall and uh everyone's ridden it. I think Jake's just gone over no, he's back up. If you're gonna fang that right hand side, stay fast! Yeah, stay fast if you're on that bit, because it's an up afterwards. But it is untouched. Where the fuck's Matt? Uh, lost one. 